Hi guys, and welcome back to another episode of Kabir Considers. In this video, we're gonna to react to a Scots reaction to an American football game. So I believe he's actually at the stadium. He's in the States. He's gonna soak up all the environment, you know, all of the uh, the lights, the, the action, the spectacle of it. It's just gonna be amazing. Like me and myself, I'm going to see the Lakers versus the, um, the Portland Trailblazers in November. I'm super excited to see that. We're going to the Crypto Arena. I think that's the, the, the home stadium for the Lakers. Cannot wait. So it's going to be interesting to, just to hear what he has to say about the atmosphere. Because we often hear in the, U, in the UK that the atmosphere at American sports games isn't quite the same as it is here because we sing a lot of songs and stuff like that. We get really passionate. But I'm sure you guys get passionate as well. So it's going to be really fun. Look at this. That's how you start up again. You don't do that in football by goal. Hello, is this New York? Welcome to New York. Thankfully, it is a heck of a lot cooler today than it was yesterday. I recovered, I managed to sleep for the whole night, and I'm feeling a lot better. We are here in Chinatown to get something to eat, right? Some Asian food, and then we're gonna go and watch some football. This is New York. Never been Alright, so Chinatown is a madness. But this is my kind of vibe. I like it here. Wow, yeah. so busy. Jeez. Football. What do you guys call football? We call it American football because of course we have football in the UK, which you guys call soccer. That's complicated and really confusing. Anyway, American football. I don't understand it. I've never known anything about it. I've never been to a game. It seems quite similar to London, I have to say. I've never really watched it either, apart from one or two Super Bowls. But, tonight, in New York City, today is the day when that all changes. Because me and Hanato are going to the MetLife Stadium. The MetLife Stadium? I think it's called, in New Jersey. In New Jersey, and we're going to watch New York Giants, I believe, play Detroit Frogs? Lions? Or Lions. Detroit. <laughs> Frogs. Anyway, it's gonna be fun. Apparently there's food, there's beer. It should be good. Looking forward to it. Go Giants, I guess. Sunset on Manhattan. A lot of traffic. That sun uh, set was beautiful. Wow, look at that, people having like parties. It's not like football in the UK, the guys line up and have bar. Oh yeah, that's called tailgating. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Figures and everything here, look at that. Like that's a family amazing. affair. Whole day out, just for the football. Awesome. But we're here at the stadium anyway, MetLife, right in front of us. This is awesome. <laughs> It's crazy, like picnics and everything. We're going right to the top of the stadium. As high as we can go, I think. The last time me and Hanato were at a stadium, we went to watch Liverpool play football. This is interesting. So there's elevators inside the stadium that take you up to the level that you're at. Here in the UK, every stadium I've been to, you've got to climb the stairs. There's no elevator. <laughs> wow, right at the top of the stadium. Right at the top. players are just little dots down there. Looks amazing. Wow. This is a big place. What's the capacity? Oh my god. I'm getting a little bit scared of heights up here. Holy moly. Hot dog in the game. Oh yeah. This looks like at least 70,000, right? Minimum 70,000. Unlike 80? the UK where you're not allowed to drink beer in the stadium, you are allowed to drink alcohol, so... Uh, yeah, it's quite popular to sit here, have a beer and watch the game. I think a bit. I mean, I don't know where he's talking about, but in the, in England, you're allowed to have beers at the stadium. Everybody's responsible, that's fine. One thing about American football, the teams have very big entourages. If you look at the side of this pitch now, there's like hundreds of different people. I don't know if they're all like media or positions or what they are, but some big entourages. There's probably more people on the side of the pitch than there is in the stadium at the moment. <laughs> but there's 40 minutes to go until kickoff. I don't know if they call it kickoff, but. Yeah, 
yeah, he's right, because this looks like uh, all of the, the team and stuff, and that's the actual team. I mean, that looks like the staff. Masseuse, maybe. The fireworks is a nice touch. Really that's how you start up again. Oh, yeah. No deny football back home. Adrenaline in there at that moment. So unlike British football, which is played in two halves, American football has four quarters. Yeah. But we are 20 minutes, I think. Is it 20 minutes per quarter? How, how long is each quarter? Not a good night for the New York Giants. Not good at all. No, did they lose? Oh no. How are the Giants doing now? Is Saquon Barkley, is he back? Like, is he back fit? I think he is. Because he was like meant to be the next big thing, but I think he keeps getting hurt. <laughs> New York at night looks amazing. All right, I'm trying to think of some words to react. It was a fascinating experience in Scotland, where I'm from. We, of course, do not have American football. And, yeah, it's very different. I can say that. Myself and Hanato had an amazing, excellent night at the MetLife Stadium in New Jersey, watching the New York Giants. Yeah, I mean, the team's not doing so well, apparently. Mm. They appear to be losing quite a lot, and oh, fans man. are most displeased. Which is surprising, because I would have thought New York, you know, being the New York Giants, would always have a pretty good team. At the performance, a couple of things I want to mention. First of all, tailgating which is what we saw at the start when we entered the stadium all the people kind of go early to the game they hang around the stadium at the back of their cars and they have picnics they have barbecues they invite around all their friends like lots of people they know and people probably people they don't know as well come and eat at the back of their cars and they probably spend a few hours preparing for the actual game which is quite cool actually i really like yeah. that that's a part of the culture that i wish i had pre-thought about so i could have actually joined in we did walk past and we kind of saw what was going on, but I didn't really want to disturb anyone. I just yeah, did. you don't really, like, can you just go up to people and like, you know, maybe if you bring something with you, like some beers and stuff like that, because I would I would feel awkward just going up to someone and being like, can I join in on your, your party? Like, what's the what's the vibe usually like? The stadium itself, the Metal Stadium, is absolutely enormous. I've been to some big football, soccer stadiums before my time, but, um, MetLife Stadium is pretty huge. We were obviously quite high up in the stadium, as far up as you could go. Um, but we still had a good view. I really enjoyed seeing the passion of everybody. The supporters, the fans there were really going wild for it. They were really into the game and really into their teams. Um, and it's good to see how people kind of really get involved in that, you know. They cheer a lot, they boo a lot, and yeah, it was just kind of a fun thing to see. One thing that I really took away from that experience was the grandness of it all. Everything was like in your face, music, explosions, fireworks. It was all like big, you know? And I think that's really great. Um, I'm not gonna lie guys, I don't know a thing about the rules of American football. <laughs> Seems to be a lot of players on each side. Which Yeah, you've got the offense and the defense, right? And I think there's 
11 members of each team. So 11 on the offense, 11 on the defense, or I think maybe a bit less than that. I was baffled by at the beginning of the game, but then I kind of learned as we went forward on offensive team and a defensive team. I was thinking about rugby and kind of trying to compare, but it's obviously very different. There's a lot of stop and start in American football. Although actually minutes played is not that long, it goes on for a very, very long time because of all the stops and the starts, mm. uh, which is a little bit frustrating. But listen, you're there for a night out. You may as well enjoy it. I hear, I hear baseball is even worse for that. I mm. learned a bit about the rules as we went on in that game. Yeah, about all the, how the quarters work and how the offense and the defense kind of switch sides and how many mm. plays you get. Like, I think it's actually interesting and not that hard to follow. Football, football for us is soccer. That's a dainty sport where there's very kind of finessed, precise sometimes. Um, and you see it as having a lot of skill. But actually, there's a lot of skill involved in American football. It's not just about brute force and muscles. It's very, very precision based. But yeah, just such a great, great environment and place to be. I would love to go back to see more American football. Mm. I don't know if I should support the Giants in future or <laughs> if I would have another. Na Who's doing better, the Giants or the Jets right now? Because I guess considering, you know, they're the closest part of the US to London, it makes sense that I support a New York team, doesn't it? That's your old home team to support. Who would like to adopt me in the world of American football? I would highly recommend anybody who's in America for a holiday to go and experience American football. Mm -hmm. Watching that has just made me more excited to uh, go see the NBA game. Um, I'm going to do my best to vlog um, while we are out there because it's going to be so much fun we're doing new york three to four days and then we're flying to san francisco and then we're doing four to five days in la i'll do my best to vlog it's just you know america is so much similarities with us here in the uk but so many differences as well and the sports it just seems like it's much more of a spectacle it's much more big and grandiose i, I personally love the look of it i love it thanks for watching guys and i'll see you in the next one